Tonight on The Bachelor, it's down to the final three. Who will finally capture the Kate Crusader's heart? Selena, Pamela or Harleen? I knew that becoming a symbol for the good people of Gotham to aspire to would force me to make tough choices. But nothing prepared me for this. From the very first night, I felt like I had the strongest connection with Selena. We're very similar people. Nocturnal lifestyle, practical dress sense, rooftop savvy. Good with animals. My biggest mistake was insisting on meeting his parents. I should have done my research. That date was kind of a bust. So, you got another one of them roses? No. I was trying to find the right times to tell the bad about my poison lips, but I never got the chance. I don't understand what happened. Everything was going so well. I bought her flowers, we went to the botanical gardens, had a romantic vegan dinner, I go in for a kiss, I get the pull back. I don't get this woman. That's a rumor circulating that you already have a boyfriend. It's crazy talk. I only have eyes for you, Vance. <laughs> You're not joking with me, are you? <laughs> for last night's group date, I wanted the girls to experience my favorite pastime. Cruising the streets of Gotham for criminals to beat to a pulp with my bare hands. You ladies got enough room back there. I apologize for the cramped conditions. This is usually a solo vehicle. Selena really excelled at the group date challenge. She assaulted upwards of five criminals. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I love it. I love it. I really hope Selena goes home tonight. Not only is she the biggest threat, but she's also extremely catty, constantly bad-mouthing everyone behind their backs. And have you seen Harley's tacky bat tat yet? Ugh. Tonight, the villainess who does not receive a rose will be leaving the manor. Selena. Will you accept this rose? receive a rose. Please take some time now to say your goodbyes. Screw you, Batman! My boyfriend's gonna go to town on you and your two house pets! I told you she had a boyfriend. Enjoy this moment, because you won't be laughing soon! Oh, well, you will be laughing! There'll be the result of a deadly gas! <laughs> take it to Arkham. Next week on The Bachelor, tensions mount as Batman makes his final decision. I feel like Selena's the woman I deserve, but not the one I need right now. And when it's down to the final two, the claws come out. The only root that bitch is gonna get is attached to a tree. Puss in Boots is gonna need more than nine lives if she's gonna survive this catfight. Why can't I talk like a normal person? So I was watching The Bachelor last night while I was working on draft 104.7 of The Void and it suddenly hit me. We're neglecting a small percentage of the population. Women. I very much agree. <laughs> Although small percentage isn't- Gender bias is something I simply cannot abide. Did you see that movie Bridesmaids? Yes. Very female-centric. The groom in that film. He was barely a character. Thinly drawn, had no lines, one-dimensional. He was nothing more than a prop in service of those female heroines. In this day and age... Clearly the film was written by a woman who didn't know how to write for men. No wonder it bombed, but it got me thinking. Why can't we sink our drill into this rich subterranean reservoir? You want to make the void more appealing to women? Let's not beat around the lady bush. The term you're grappling for is chick flick. Which is funny, I always thought chick flick meant, you know, to flick a woman's... Well, you know. But I was wrong. Apparently, it means a film that's targeted at the smaller brains of females. Huh. Appealing to women is sometimes an acquired skill. There's just one nagging bitch of a problem! You lackeys know nothing of romance because none of you have ever been in a healthy relationship before. Gustav, I've actually been
been in a steady relationship for seven years and it's as healthy as a relationship gets. We don't fight, don't argue, don't have thoughts about other people. We don't stay up late at night googling shirtless photos of early 2000s Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, well too bad. You still have to participate in my experiment. Experiment? You're each going to write me a list of the qualities you most desire in a partner. And tonight, I'm gonna set you up on six blind dates. Oh, oh, sorry, that wasn't politically correct, was it? Six visually impaired dates. I can't go on a date. I told you, I have a relationship. Relationship, schmalationship. I'm not talking about comfort and safety. I'm talking about romance. One date won't kill you. So write me a list, get the others to write theirs, and then bring them to me before lunchtime. Where are you gonna find six people willing to- That's not your concern. Nor that of the authorities. my perfect partner be? Well, Wilton, they say opposites attract, so you'd probably stand the best chance of someone who's really cool. You know how sometimes you write a word and for some reason it looks really weird the way it's spelled? This is ridiculous. I've spent over 24 years searching for a guy who meets this criteria and Gustav reckons he can scare one up in a couple of hours. No one exists who meets your criteria. What's that supposed to mean? You never like anyone because no one can live up to your fancy schmancy hoity toity prudy gluty priggy twiggy snobby wobby standards. At least I've had dates. Your visual effects have dated more than you have. That's because I can't afford the best software. Oh, I'm not kidding. It's never really in the cards for me. You know how they have teen heartthrobs? Yeah, well, I was more of a teen foot cramp. Got less action than a Jane Austen novel. Before I met Joss, I was with this guy who had really high standards. Eventually I just couldn't handle it anymore because he went completely anal. Hey, please, spare us the details of your sordid sex life. I meant anal retentive. As did I. My point is, I've experienced romance, so this experiment is wasted on me. It's okay for you guys. None of you are seeing anybody. I'm seeing someone. What? Who is she? I don't know her name. I see her out of the corner of my eye sometimes. There she is! Oh, she's gone. Wilton, I think you're being haunted. You guys think my standards are too high? Well, I say your standards are even higher. Oh, is that so? Care to put your money where your butthole is? What are we betting on? First person to get their date to leave with them. $20 buy-in. But I don't want to leave with my date. You don't have to bang them, you just have to get them to leave with you. 100 bucks? I'll convince her to bear my children. Look. I'll chip in, but I'm not competing. I'm just being a good sport. What time do we have to be at the restaurant? Six. Damn. That only gives us eight hours to get ready. Online. It's a see-through strapless, backless, sideless, frontless, topless, bottomless, buttless dress. How much was it? Two ninety-nine. Reduced from five hundred. Might be a little informal. Yeah, I guess. Casey liked it. She took some photos. She won't know what hit her. <laughs> what hit me? Sorry. Are you okay? Hey, where'd you park? I got a Jurassic Park. Glad it's not raining over here. You guys ready? Dressed to the fives. Now we all just have to find our names. Oh, hey, look at this. Dear Lou, I am really looking forward to our date. I've reserved the fine dining area for the two of us. Please join me when you're ready. Well, well, I hope you guys aren't too attached to your $20 because it looks like I may have a keeper here. Game on.
Be still my beating heart. Oh my god! I'm stuck beating again! I have a very obedient heart. Oh, don't be so <clears throat> nervous. Do you want some free advice? Oh, anything. Women like sophisticated men. Oh. You're smart. You're traveled. Okay? You just got back from Europe. Show her that side of yourself. Hi. I'm Beck. Shh. No names. Tonight's your lucky night. I'm looking for the exact same thing you are. Someone who prefers the world of imagination and fantasy to the tedium of real life. So why don't you and I go to the bathroom, slip out of these stiflingly appropriate clothes, Whoa, well, maybe and we should get to know each other a little bit. Into something more comfortable. Millie, the entire contents of your Facebook profile does you no justice. I'm sorry, I, I seem to have forgotten my own name. I, I'm just lost in the tropical blue tranquility of your eyes. Tropical tranquility? Oh my. Oh, you must be Ned. Thank God, it has been hell sitting here waiting. Anticipation always causes a tightness in my chest. Be still, my beating hand. I never do things like this. <laughs> I was so worried you'd be some kind of weirdo. But you seem really nice. Your eyes are so innocent. I'm sorry, I'm blabbering. <laughs> oh, it's just quite all right. I mean, I'm not that innocent. I am very well traveled. <laughs> oh, of course I didn't mean to suggest that. Yeah, can I start you off on some pita bread? Yeah, yeah, pita bread. I, I love pita bread. Uh, you might even call me a pedophile. <laughs> or not. Yeah, would you like to see the wine list? We oui, see for play. You speak mm. French? Oh, we. Oui. <laughs> uh, have you visited La France? We. Oui. Quelle région have you visited, Mont Saint Michel? Oh, Michel, ma belle, voulez-vous coucher à mes doigts la vie loca? Pardon. Bon voyage, bon voyage. Bon voyage, <laughs> he is so untraveled. <laughs> I have to level with you. I already have a boyfriend. <laughs> His name's Joss, and we've been together for seven long years. I don't know why I said long. <laughs> seven years. Oh, so... So why am I here? Um, I'm here to lose $20 and learn about romance, which is something I'm already well versed in. I haven't experienced it for seven long, seven years. So what did you put on your list? Oh, I just, um, listed all my boyfriend's best qualities. Really? Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have a, a copy of that list, would you? Maybe. Why? Just curious to see how well it fits me. <sighs> Let me guess, my date cancelled? No, he didn't. Well, where is he? Staring deeply into your bile-hued eyes. <laughs> oh, I think I see where this is headed. Eat laser, you slimy piece of worm-ridden filth! Oh, shoulda shot first, Greedo. Yeah, God. This is for ruining my childhood Blu-ray edition Boba Fett. Don't shoot, bro. Oh, can't you think? This next thousand years is gonna feel like an eternity. Get over here and rock my rebel base, you scoundrel. I've got a good feeling about this. This player may lay a layer later. Han Solo, Captain of the Millennium Falcon. I normally don't eat at such trashy dives. An inventory of my fridge would be more impressive than this menu. Snitzel looks good. Sure, if you're looking for something to patch a hole in a ship's hull. So, speaking of lists, I'm curious to know what you ordered that brought me to the table. I just put down the only thing that truly matters. My nails! My nails! Yeah! A beautiful soul. Oh, is this gonna 
end at some point. Why don't I see about some drinks, hey? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. In what twisted parallel universe do I end up with you? I know it's hard, but for the purpose of the exercise, I really need you to just put aside the fact that you're not good enough for me. You know, that you're much older than I would typically go for. That you've been around the block way too many times in a trashed out old vehicle with bald tires. I'm willing to put all of that aside, if you are. You're an actress. Act like someone who's worthy of Gustav Bergansky Esquire. How? How is it fair that everyone else gets their perfect match and I'm stuck on a date with the person I hate most? Love can grow from hate. Like Stockholm Syndrome. Is that why you've trapped me here? Are you trying to turn me into Wilton? How do you fit any of the qualities I put on my list? Let's have a squiz, shall we? Handsome. <laughs> Come on. It, that goes without saying. Doesn't go at all, with uh, or without saying. Talented? Please. Please what? Please remove it from the list? Steady, ongoing career. I've had my own business for almost two decades. But you're not making any money, you're just spending your grandparents' inheritance. No, not true. Some of it's my parents' money. But you're not making money. All businesses lose money in the first... 18 th years? If we're rounding it up, sure. You were sick. No. No. See, I got that box ticked as well. No serious medical conditions. Well, I have is a reverse peanut allergy, and that's hardly serious. What the hell is a reverse peanut allergy? Well, it's an allergy to eating peanuts. But instead of blowing up, I squeeze out sweats, mucus, vomiting, explosive projectile diarrhea. Should we have a look at the menu? So, guess they were all out of Leia costumes, huh? Aww. Or Ray, Padme. Aunt Beru? Are we ready to order? Just a warning, if you find the air in your soup, you probably won't be able to claim it's from the kitchen. <laughs> I'll have the bruschetta. And for this uh, squash? Wookie. Uh, I don't know. What looks good to you? Chewy? Oh. It does not speak French, does it? Why don't you give us a minute? Your boyfriend likes watching romantic comedies with Anne Hathaway? I love her movies. Well, I mean, it is hard to get through a full movie without him looking at his phone. Takes you on long walks? That's actually my favourite thing to do. We don't walk as much as we used to. He spends a lot of time at Sullivan's gym. Oh, I thought that was a woman's only gym. Oh. Puts your needs before his own. Now every man should do that for the woman he loves. Yes. Yes, he should. Do you need some talcum powder? Keep reading. I just requested someone sensitive and talkative and interested in me as a person. Ah. <sighs> Your voice is like an Icelandic breeze tinkling through crystal wind chimes. Now, there were some substantial gaps in your online history, so please allow me this time to learn more about you. What was the happiest moment of your life? I'm not sure. Probably before I entered the void. Maybe when I scored a goal in grade eight soccer. Ah, oh, I can hear the PVC punch, the thwap of the net, the roar of the crowd. There wasn't much of a crowd. We're with the G team. Our own parents didn't come to our games. Now, what was the saddest moment of your life? Oh, that's easy. The day my guinea pig died. His hair got caught in the floor fan and... <laughs> what? What was his name? Um, Chewbacca? <laughs> That was quick, even by your standards. Why don't you give your $20 to me, I'll make sure it gets to the right person. Oh, I'm not leaving. I just forgot where the bar was located. Oh, here it is. Yeah, they should really have a sign. I see your little lady moves fast. She's already changed the way you dress. Who are you supposed to be? Wolverine. Close, but no cigar. As it happens, I rather enjoy my new duds. Turns out we both have an appreciation for fanciful attire. Ah, Taylor's old as time. Knock it off, Dennis Quaid. I know you're just not that into her. I can see it in your eyes. All four of them. At least I'm not sneaking out on her. <laughs> For your information, my date is a chiseled Hispanic salsa dancer named Ricardo with a degree in astrophysics and eyes like the sea before a storm. As opposed to saying Bigfoot. Before a storm sucks. Try during a storm. <laughs> oh!
It's actually pretty awesome. Damn right. Coming to the bar to escape your dates, I see. But that's not what you're doing, is it, Andy? Me? No, 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 no. I think I finally found someone who meets my gigantic standards. Hope you all aren't too attached to that $20. Want to guess what you're hoping to be attached to? Boobs. You may be focused on the physical grizzly man, but I have far more substantial things on my breasts. Mind. Guys, help me, help me, help me, I need help. Yes, another unsatisfied customer. No, 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 it's not that. My date is perfect, she's an angel, but I'm too nervous, I've got butterflies in my stomach. I shouldn't have eaten those chrysalises this morning. Why am I even doing this? They've got one day to live and they have to spend it in there? Oh, who am I kidding? I'll never have the confidence. Au contraire. I don't know what that means! Wilton, confidence isn't a state of mind. It's a liquid-induced incapacitation. Here, take a couple of these bad boys as an aperitif. Are you just making up words now? <clears throat> I think we got off on the wrong foot. I think you got off on the wrong planet. Lou. Will you accept this rose? No, I will not. When did you pull that from? Uh-uh. Magician never gives away his secrets. Needless to say, I made sure it was dethorned. Hello. I will be your private waiter for this evening. Are we ready to order? Uh, she'll have the vegan salad, because that body doesn't just happen. And I'll partake in your sirloin steak, well done with a mushroom sauce. She'll actually have the eye fillet, medium ray, and a go screw yourself sauce. Yeah, and when you say she, you are referring to... Myself. And you go screw yourself... Pepper sauce. Of course. Hmm, fine. According to your list, you want a man who can take charge. No woman on earth is looking for a man to take charge of her meals unless she's catatonic. I got you some ale from the barkeep. Oh. I don't actually drink. Oh, well, uh, more for me, I guess. <laughs> You're gonna have to take the mask off if you want to eat the food. So you're just gonna stare at it? We both know that chip's not going anywhere. You just threw it on the floor. I felt it hit my foot. Chewy? Chewy? Chewy! I take it he doesn't mow the lawn anymore either. See this scar? A rock got caught in the blades. Sometimes it's hard to find the time. When you're too busy banging gym sluts. We have no proof of that. Right now it's just the most likely of several unsettling possibilities. I need a drink. Do you mind? I'm not much of a drinker, so I don't really know my way around a bar, but... Oh, I'd still like to buy you a drink. Why don't you get us both something? But you know what they say, when a life gives you melons, start a career in porn. And who are they in this context? Yo, Gaston, how much longer is it gonna take? I don't even want to eat your gourmet puke to start with. The least you could do is not make me wait for it. I'll go talk with the kitchen. Yeah, you go tell the kitchen to cook faster. And maybe afterwards try and convince the bathrooms to stink less. <laughs> Unbelievable. Chewbacca, why is it always the innocent that are punished? How about I get something from the bar? Oh, you were so considerate. Alas, I refrain from allowing alcohol to poison my bloodstream, but please do not deny yourself such pleasures on my account. Well, if you insist. The drinking is not working. It's only getting harder to think of things to, to, to say. Wilton, you've come to the right person. I'm what's known as a pickup artiste. Ah, oh, one of those guys that can get any woman in the world to go home with him just by saying the right words. That, and I can physically pick up any object. Point to anything in the room, I'll pick it up. Uh, the bar. How did you actually do that? It's not important. Listen to me, Wilton. There's no aphrodisiac like actually being sexy, which we're not, but don't worry, because there's something we can do that all women find simply irresistible. Yeah, well, what's that? A sleazy pickup line. Observe. So, what do you like for breakfast? Eggs and sausages. Shit! I've only got cocoa pops. Sometimes a good line will backfire, that's normal. Take two. Hey. I told you you had a nice body. 
Would you hold it against me? I think maybe I would. Well, I was just trying to pay you a compliment. But I guess if you want to take offense, you're going to take offense. Okay, demonstration's over. Now it's your turn. This is all about confidence, Wilton. Believe that you are charismatic and witty and sharp like a musketeer's sword. Those two, go! Ooh. Believe the lie! Uh, if I told you I liked your eggs, would you hold them against my sausage? What? <laughs> I'm a rapier! Ah! Yikes! Heaven must be missing assholes! Oh, water! I need water that bad No, 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 don't spoil it! You've just achieved the thing that turns women on the most! Real tears! There are way too many things that turn women on! Use those tears! Pretend you just thought of something tragic! Go! Oh. Women love men who show emotion! He's too emotional. I thought you wanted a sensitive guy. I did! But this is too sensitive. I feel if I breathe too loudly, he's gonna shudder. Well then breathe loudly. Eat loudly. Eat with your hands. If this guy worships you and you want to get rid of him, turn him off you. I don't think I can do that. No straws. I don't know, it's legal to serve secondhand food. What's your thought? Please help yourself. Since it must be German for crumbed feces. Oh my god! Oh my god, there were a ton of ways to spout in my drink! I'm sure he didn't. Uh, Ned, I think someone with my experience can detect the various male secretions. Have you even tried yours yet? No, I haven't. Yep. Spit him. Taste it. Well, it's obviously gonna taste like spit now. Um. Watching you eat is like watching a honeybee collecting pollen from a chrysanthemum. Aren't you eating? Oh, I can't eat that. Not enough gravy? Not when there are starving children in third world countries who would gouge out their eyes for the tiniest bite. But it's a $50 meal. Oh, it won't go to waste. That's why I brought these plastic containers, so that I can take it to the homeless shelter. Why should I eat such fine food when those less fortunate have to eat my discarded slop? Well then, what are you going to eat? That's the only question starving children in Ethiopian slums ever ask. Now it's my turn. Ah, I see things are going well. <laughs> Romance is most definitely in the air this evening. Yeah, it's like anthrax. Hey, how are things going with the other dates? Anyone left yet? No, that I've seen. What about the uh, yeti and the archaeologist? Last I saw, things were getting quite intimate. Damn! Honey, it's rude to focus on other couples and ignore what's right in front of you. Well, I am trying to eat, dear. How about I go to the bar and I get some drinks? No! I'm mean. You're right, I should focus more on us. Why don't I get us the drinks? Capital idea. Uh, and you know what? Don't worry about paying me back either. No, I won't. You still owe me three weeks' wages. Uh, 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 you don't discuss business on a date. <sighs> Jury, that's enough of that. Be right back. Oh, wow. A girl who buys her own drinks. You see, you think you have someone figured out and... I didn't buy them. I nicked her off simple and slut at the bar. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Get your own. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. I paid for the drinks and got distracted and when I turned around, the drinks were gone. <laughs> I can't do anything right! Stop that, that's not true and you know it. The only mistake you ever make is giving up on yourself. I mean, you did it with your acting, you did it with finding a decent guy, and now you're doing it with alcohol. Don't ever give up on yourself, Casey. You can do far more than you give yourself credit for. Right. You're right. I'm gonna get us some beverages! <laughs> Millie, I was gonna wait until after dessert to do this, but... Why wait? What is that? That is my grandmother's ring. I told her I'd keep it in the family. Oh, Millie. <laughs> Don't cry. 
Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I just get emotional when I... Drink too much? No, 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 no. When I think of this uh, French poodle I met in Paris, he got run over by a baguette truck. I mean, I tried to stop it. I called out, Finn, Finn, but it was too late. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Isn't it just... Oh, God! <laughs> no, Wilton, alcohol goes in the mouth, not the eyes, like this. There's enabling and there's enforcing. No, 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 it's helping, I think. I can see twice as much as I could before. Wilton, don't listen to these nitwits. Nothing impresses a girl like a well-executed party trick. For example. Just something simple like that. That's all you need. Back at the bar again, I see. <laughs> Ricardo must get bored easily. For your information, Captain Spock, the only things that bore my day are sports and fishing. Well, I look forward to meeting this Superman. Well, I'm sure you will. We'll need someone to park cars at our wedding. Strong words! But words don't win wars. We'll see which of us goes home. Solo. Chewbacca would love that joke. So, you did your best to deter him, and now you're wearing his grandmother's ring? Is it safe to say the plan backfired? I don't know how to reject someone. It's easy. Watch. Oh, hi honey, just me. Listen, we're over. Yeah, finished. Ciao. That was seven years. Yours is 30 minutes. Suck it up. Hey, is there another exit to this place? Just the main entry. Got your cocktail, sate sizzle. Oh, thank you kindly. <clears throat> oh, that's explosive. That's the plan. Did you get me one? That was your one. Hey, do you want to get out of here? Really? Yeah, can we take your car? Uh, we could, but you know what? Why don't, why don't we walk? My place is just down the road. It wasn't your fault, you know. <laughs> Oh, what? What's what? The poodle in Paris. You couldn't have known that. I don't care truck. about that. Poodles should not be driving trucks anyway. You want to see a trick? Um, sure. Don't take your eyes off the fork. for just a second. Oh, that's just disgusting, rotten, stomach-churning behaviour. I just want to take people like that and squeeze them until they burst like a balloon. Those assholes really give me the shits. Was that good stuff? What's he doing here? You know, if you'd have told me this morning that I'd be a single woman by the end of tonight, I would have freaked out. <laughs> but after meeting you, I'm actually excited about the future. For the first time in my life, I finally feel like I'm with a real man. Daniel! Get in the car! Mom? I told you to wait around the back. What are you doing here? I was waiting. Right up until the point when I realised how strange it is that my son has a debating final at a restaurant on a school night. So I drive around the front and what do I find? You! Arm in arm with some hussy. How old are you, Trollop? How old are you? He's 16. Oh, and don't pretend like he didn't know. Shame on you taking advantage of an impressionable youth who still wets the bed. Mum! Get in the car, Daniel. 
and I'll have my $20 registration fee back, thank you. Uh, I don't have it. I, I gave it to her for drinks. Buying alcohol for a minor. You're lucky I don't call the police. Give me my money back. And if you ever come within a hundred meters of my son again, I will have you spayed. It's cougars like you that give us middle-aged women a bad name. So I did what anyone would do in that situation. I donated my kidney, half a liver, and four feet of my colon to give that chimpanzee one more day of sweet life. It would have been nice if he hadn't have died in that treehouse explosion, because I would have gotten it all back, but I have no regrets. Can I be Frank? Oh, you could be Frankenstein, I'd still adore you. You seem like a really nice person, and, and this is nothing against you as a person, but I just feel we don't work together. And it would be better for both of us if we went our separate ways. I appreciate your honesty. I will leave you now. Take care of yourself, Millie. As it appears, I cannot. Wait! Yes! You forgot your grandmother's ring. Oh. Right. Keep it. Keep it as a cherished memento of the time we spent together. I want the only two things I ever loved to stay together. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> okay. Is all I can hope for now. Hey, you went off a psycho boy? How do you take it? Really well, actually. I'm surprised it's the first time he hasn't. No! <laughs> well, I suppose you meant to expect this sort of hooliganism at such a cruddy establishment. <laughs> Typical degenerate clientele. <laughs> I mean, look at that tragedy over there. <laughs> no wonder it ain't ditched her. What kind of legally blind bonehead would take that right off for a spin? That's it. Now you listen here. That ugly girl is my friend. And I'm afraid I do not want to waste any more time with someone who's going to treat her like that. Oh well, it's a shame. I was going to let you put it in here. Oh. Well, obviously I'm willing to reconsider. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Why don't you go ask your skinny little friend to let you do it to her instead? Her breasts are of an insufficient mass to accommodate that activity. And how are things going? Ouch! I'll give you $20 if you put on this jacket and walk me out the front doors. Hmm? Mm. Uh, Gustav? Gustav, is that you? Wilton? What are you doing here? I'm just <clears throat> touching up on my romance. <clears throat> well, for what it's worth, I think you did an amazing job picking out dates. Not just mine. Everyone I spoke to said the same thing. Especially Lou. She's had over heels in love with her beau. <laughs> I even heard her mention the word wedding. <laughs> Seriously? So that's what I think we should do. We'll try this again, but we'll mix it up next time. I'll stay as Han Solo, because I feel that character fits my persona very closely. But you'll be something different. Something like, say, early Return of the Jedi, post-Bounty Hunter disguise Leia. Finish putting your Boba Fett in her sarlacc. Would you mind spewing my crotch with lubricant? It's getting rather stiff. Ah! Oh, no, 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 no. I thought Luke and Leia was messed up. But this is on a whole other plane of twisted. Ah! Calls himself a Star Wars fan. my skin. 
I need silk. What, what the hell am I gonna wear now? And Gustav, what the hell are you doing here? You're right. I gotta get back to Lou. Should be worried sick. Oh, what are you, a chaperone? How does Ricardo feel about you hanging around? Ricardo? This way, Ricardo. <laughs> Shit. Where do you think you're going with my date, buddy? Hey man, I didn't want it, but she paid me 20 bucks. Ah, a waiter and a gigolo. You're a man of many talents, Ricardo. Who's Ricardo? Lou, how come you're leaving with the waiter? What? I thought you were a private waiter. I was. I was also everyone else's public waiter. Uh, give me my jacket back, you filthy opportunist. I could not believe it. My date left. Well, I hope you're all happy. You ruined the exercise in every possible way. Lou. Apparently, you'd rather pay a complete stranger for meaningless sex than commit to a nurturing and passionate courtship. Casey, I asked you for one night, and all you could do was go on about your seven year relationship, you selfish shrew! Wilton, your chronic alcoholism has finally reached its tipping point. Admit you've got a problem! Vex. It's patently obvious why your day up and flew out of here at light speed. Just a little tip. Typically, one waits to at least leave the restaurant before getting their freak on. Ed, I guess those watermelons just weren't juicy enough. Perhaps next time, I'll just hire a jumping castle and fill it full of pig's milk. And Millie, I don't know what you said to your date, but I can only assume it was incredibly insensitive. <laughs> Congratulations all. After tonight, I've completely changed my mind. The Void will no longer be a romance. Instead, it'll be a loveless tragedy. Seems that's all you heartless miscreants understand. <laughs> so I guess nobody won the bet. This is the worst night ever. Not only did I drive away the love of my life, but my date left me as well. Ew. I just broke up with my boyfriend of seven years for a high school debating champion who then left me for his own mom. What happened with your day, Ned? I already forgot her. Couldn't even tell you what she looked like. Oh, you'd know if you saw her. She had massive- I know she had massive titties! I know! Oh, those titties could have been mine! I was gonna say masculine hands. I'm going home to my room. If you hear something that sounds like a dead fish being slapped against the wall a few hundred times, that's exactly what's happening. No. Uh, will you be paying? Oh, uh, Gustav said he'd pay. Love stinks! <laughs> Alright, let's just all put our $20 towards it. Great, so no one wins the bet, but we all still lose the money. Uh, I'm afraid that would only cover a quarter of the bill. time on The Void, things aren't so black and white in the mystery of the stolen memory card. Was it the housewife, the businessman, the French maid, the drug dealer or the femme fatale? And will Fex's private dick get to the bottom of it?